I rehabbed a slap tear in both shoulders without surgery by following a plan created by top physical therapists for professional football players with one goal, get them back to playing as quick as possible. If you want a similar result, then this is for you. And if you want to get the full strategy, grab the Slap Tear Rehab Blueprint. It's free. Just click or tap the screen to get it. In this video series, I'm sharing the five variables that we manipulated to get such a fast recovery without surgery. And this video is all about tempo. Tempo refers to the speed at which you perform the different phases of an exercise. The concentric phase when the muscle is shortening, the eccentric phase when the muscle is lengthening, and any pauses between the two phases. By simply adjusting tempo, you might find that you can continue to work out pain-free and rehab your slap tear fast. In the early stages of slap tear rehab, I slowed down the eccentric phase. So for example, during a dumbbell floor press, I was doing a three second eccentric phase. I also found that adding a very short pause between the concentric phase and eccentric phase, both at the bottom and the top of the movement, really helped. The pause at the end of the concentric phase made sure that I was really training full range of motion. For example, on an external rotation, rotation movement, if I pull my arm to here and just immediately come back, I might not be getting that full range, but adding that little pause allows you to really make sure that you're getting full range of motion. And adding a brief pause between the concentric and eccentric phase made sure that I wasn't lifting too much weight and I was training my muscles effectively. See, at the bottom of an eccentric phase, without a pause, you can actually utilize the stretch shortening cycle of the muscle. The stretch shortening cycle is basically the elastic component of the muscle, that when a muscle contracts eccentrically and then you go straight back into a concentric contraction, there's some energy that builds up in there that is released, kind of like pulling back a rubber band and releasing it. Now this is actually really useful in strength training and in some more advanced programming, but in the early phases of slap tear rehab, it can be really detrimental because we wanna feel out the weaker points in our movement and in our muscles range of motion. We don't wanna be skipping past them with a stretch shortening cycle. This slowed down approach to tempo really allows us to maximize our rehab time and not try and rush through and lift any weights that are dangerous. Now this might mean that you need to reduce the intensity or the amount of weight that you're lifting as described in previous videos in this series. But by manipulating tempo, I was able to reduce pain, increase muscle engagement and reduce the time of my rehab. Remember, the key is to always work within your pain-free range. Now, a little bit of pain when you're actually doing the reps is okay, but if the pain persists beyond the workout, meaning that if your baseline level of pain increases, after the workout or the next day, then you've definitely gone a little bit too hard and we need to reconsider which of these five variables we can manipulate so that you can continue to work out. With slap tear rehab, it's all about reminding the body that you can train pain free. If we always push ourselves to a point of pain, we remind the nervous system that this injury is dangerous and it needs to stay locked down and restrict range of motion. And that's not what we want to do. To get a comprehensive understanding of your slap tear and how to rehab it fast without surgery, make sure you grab the slap tear rehab blueprint. It's free. Just click or tap the screen to get it. And in the last video of this series, I'll be discussing exercise complexity and how you can manipulate it to keep training and rehab your slap tear fast. I'll see you in that next video.